Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Today, Apple has released iPad OS 13.1 and iOS 13.1 to the public. Um, it is worth noting that this is the first release of iPad OS. They decided to go ahead and release iPad OS 13.1 instead of releasing iPad OS 13, just because of the few bugs that were um, in iOS 13 and iPad OS 13. Um, it was just a good idea to release 13.1 first. But it is actually releasing early. It was originally slated for the 30th of September. Today is the 24th of September. Um, and they are releasing these two versions early because, again, there were some bugs in iOS 13 that they wanted to go ahead and patch quickly. So all this is coming out a few days earlier than they originally announced, which is nice. But iPad OS 13 here, definitely a great, great update if you have an iPad. It brings so much to the iPad that is uh, iPad specific. Um, such as all your your widgets right here. You can have those on the home screen I'll go ahead and turn off rotation lock here and we can see if I turn it this way You have all your widgets right here on the side. You can um, Push up and get more widgets. You can pull down and just have your favorites right here And that can all be set in the home screen setting. So if we go right here to general and Then multitasking and dock. There's a whole bunch of stuff for multiple apps. Um, that is not what I wanted to show though what I am looking for here is display and brightness. So right here, you can choose whether you want to keep the today view on the home screen, um, or you can you can turn that on or off. And if you choose a bigger layout, you get your big icons still. So you get your regular size icons, and then you don't get your widgets over here on the left. So you can choose between those two over there, which is very nice. Um, there is some other stuff in here that is specific to iPad OS as far as multitasking and that kind of stuff. If we go over to your widgets right here and we go to edit, you can choose, um, again, you can keep the uh, home screen on, keep the today view on the home screen, and then you can have your pen favorites right here, and you can also add your other widgets, which will um, come up when you push up and expand this view. But you can see here, if I push down, then the AccuWeather one is down in the background. So that is pretty nice. A lot of new stuff, like I said, on iPad OS 13 in terms of Apple Pencil multitasking and all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and update, check it out. It is definitely a stable update. Like I said, this is starting off on 13.1, so you don't have to worry about any of those bugs that people were talking about in iPad OS 13 and in iOS 13. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.